you piece of crap and I'm here, 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 I'm Hey everybody, let's uh, discuss my rage moments from the backlog days. So for those who don't know, I did a thing of a New Year's resolution where I was going to play 50% of my backlog and try to grind through it and get through it. But there were sadly five games that made me rage. One of them I finished, the others I did not finish this year for 2020. Hopefully 2021 there's a different story. Coming in at number one. Mario Sunshine. This is the reason why I got the idea. I had been playing Mario Sunshine off and on and decided this is going to be the first game I played. Didn't play it. Mario 64 I had played. Galaxy I played and I got a headache so I said I'm not going to play those two. I'll start with Mario Sunshine. Sounds like a fun time. Water. What could go wrong? Well, what goes wrong is sand tiles slash blocks. Anything to do with sand that eventually fades away it's very hard to do because of the fact that the camera angles suck in this game. They inverted the cameras, did not know about that, played it the hard way, found out through a friend, why didn't you invert the cameras? I was like, it didn't, what? You can do that? So I played it the hard way. I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but yeah, the, the levels and the platforming just don't know why they did that. It's one of the hardest games I've ever played for Mario. Coming in at number two is Dead Rising. I forgot how frustrating the time limit is on this game. For those who don't know, Dead Rising has a time clock. If you do not finish the time clock, you get an instant fail. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, does not matter in the map, you could literally be battling a mini boss, dealing with some stupidity, but if you do not make your time to get back to where you need to be, you have to start that over again. Does not matter how long it took you to get back to where you need to be. Joys! Fun times! So this made me rage. This made me rage and I had to stop for a minute because I was like, I am getting so frustrated that I love this game and I need to stop because I'm getting so annoyed. If that wasn't the case, I would have loved to play this game <laughs> over again, but I was like, I got so many games I want to play. There's so many on my backlog that I wanted to finish before, like Breath of the Wild. And sadly this had to go bye-bye for a minute. Next game on the list is Ginger Beyond the Crystal. I played this a while back in the beginning of the year, like around February, because I had played it a few, it was like 2018, I played this and I decided, you know what, I let it go, let me play it again. I don't remember why I forgot to, I didn't play it. I remembered why I didn't play it. This has a jumping mechanic that is weird. It's kind of like Mario Sunshine where you have levels that you have to do in order to get to the next part, which is jumping and you think, oh, it's fine, the camera is showing you like a great spot, you're okay. You die and you instantly die and you have to restart again from the beginning. <laughs> and so I remember actually on stream after I started playing this again, why I rage quit one of the few times on stream where I rage quit and I stopped and I had been streaming for like a couple hours and I was getting so frustrated that I had one person finally show up the last minute and go, hey, you're playing a game that I like. I was like, okay, cool. I'm getting frustrated, but I'll play a little bit more. Sadly, I got so mad and so frustrated that I turned the game off and I told the person, I'm sorry that he showed up the last 15 seconds, but I'm done. I'm so done. And he's like, rage quit. I'm like, yes, I'm rage quitting right now as we speak. And that's why I, I have, I want to play this game. I want to beat it. I want to finish it, but I just can't. I can't do the levels. And you know what? Since I grinded through Mario Sunshine, I'm going to give it another shot. I'll, I'll try for 2021. Next game on the list for number four is Ukulele. I love the ukulele. I love the story. I love Banjo and Kazooie. I play those games all the time. But for some weird reason, this game could not work for me. It was a glitchy mess. There's a casino level and you have to hit the buttons at a certain time. Kind of like Mario Sunshine where you have to spray the water and get a revolving seven. This, you had to match up either the face or whatever it was for that machine. Some of the machines work just fine. But after a little bit of time of playing, I got to the point where I would hop up and it would drop frames and then say that I didn't get it right. Now some of them were, it was all three of them were spinning and they just dropped. 
Others, there was one individually at a time that you had to hit. I hated the ones that were individually one at a time to hit because there was no freaking way you would be able to get every single one with the glitch fest that is going on right here. I can see why a lot of people never made it to the final boss because I need so many of the pages to get to the final boss and all of them are in the casino area <laughs> and I cannot for the life of me get the freaking game to work. If the game would work and let me do my damn thing, I would get to the end boss and be done with this game. But sadly, I had to take it and put it to the side for a minute because I got so frustrated. I was like, I'm done with this game. Rage is over. I need a break. And coming in at number five, sadly, is Stitch Experiment 626. Now for this game, you have a bungee cord style, like Indiana Jones, crack the whip, swing to the other side, and you're good to go. But the problem is with the swinging mechanic is two things. It's very confusing on where you need to go first. So for when you finally figure it out, it was a weird mechanic that didn't work all the time. And I kid you not, had gotten it down and gotten to the last couple worlds. I literally was at like two worlds away from getting to the very end when I needed to get to the boss. And I'm like, I'm two stages away. I'm good to go. I got this. One of the last stages has you do so many trees, so many things, and you can't save. This is an irritating part about older games was you couldn't save at certain parts. You had to complete the whole level. Well, if I was a kid back in the day, this would have been a great game for me because I would have played after homework and just grind fest and do my thing. But I have dogs who stop me and want to go to the bathroom, want to get fed. I don't have hours upon hours, especially when I work early in the morning. So I have to wake up early in the morning so I can't grind fest for till 10, 11 at night. I need to go to bed at 9.30 so I can wake up and be refreshed. So this game, I love it. I just wish that it would let me save at a certain point. The checkpoints are murderous. The inverted camera for the jetpack thing, atrocious. I could not, for the life of me, and I've played Crash Bandicoot, could not get this one to work very well. So sadly, I put this down and hopefully I will muster up the courage to play it again one day. And that was my Rage Fest for 2020 or 2021. What are some games in your backlog that you sadly put down because you were raging so bad that your blood pressure was through the roof? Let me know down in the comments below. We'll rage together and hopefully be okay. So thank you for watching. If you're new, hit the sub button. Helps out the channel. And as always, keep on gaming. Don't rage. And if you do, don't break controllers. Catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.